God's sake. Morning. What are you doing here already? I just woke up. I'm always here, silly. Every morning. But I'm getting pretty sick and tired of it. Why don't we just spend the whole day in bed? You know you want to. Just us two. No. I've got stuff to do today. What's the point? The point is... I don't want another day in bed again. But you look so tired. Yeah, I am. But no. You don't have the energy to go all the way to uni. I'm going, okay? Good morning, Tom. Where do you think you're going? What are you doing here? I'm going to university today. Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah? Why would you want to go there? You hate uni. Because... I have a big exam coming up and I need to do well in it and I don't hate it. I don't think you should go in today. <laughs> no, no, no. He's mine today. He's staying home with me. Oh, shut up, you sad sack of shit. Tom, you are just going to fail that exam. You're not smart enough. I can't fail. I, well, I'll have to reset the year again. Mm, not convincing me. Plus, uni is going to be full of people today. And you don't like that, do you? Crowds of people. Shut up! I'm going! I think you're a little tense. You should just stay home with me today. Tom, you should stay home today because... Because you're going to embarrass yourself! No, no, I won't! I should never listen to you two! Oh dear, look at you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Just, uh, could be better. Oh my god, you should definitely join a gym. Yeah, I guess. I mean, look at that chunky belly. <laughs> <laughs> I supposed to wear? Nothing from that wardrobe anyway. Your fashion sense is dead. Good luck finding something that looks good on you. Wear black. Like you usually do. You rang them? Yeah. Are you serious? Have you got a problem with my trainers? <sighs> Bit flashy, aren't they? Hmm. 
What are you doing? I'm obviously making breakfast. Why? You're not hungry. I feel hungry. No, I don't think you are. No, you know what? I'm going to eat breakfast. I never eat because of you. I'm going to eat. It's just cereal. It tastes like crap. It's not the best. It's the worst cereal in the world. But I need to eat. Not now. Save for the big pizza later. That does sound better. Do you really want to eat that now? Well, not now. See you later, Mom! She's definitely ignoring you. She's asleep. Shut up, will you? <sighs> she might be dead. Or not. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna have a great day today. You look like shit, by the way. What does he expect? Thanks. Getting the bus? You know I am. Well, you're going to miss it. Oh, shit, you think? Yeah, you're already late. And you'll walk into your lecture even later. Oh, shit, you're right. And do you remember how embarrassing it is to walk into your lecture late? Everybody looking at you, judging you. <coughs> God, you're so <laughs> warm. Am I making you uncomfortably hot? No, stop it, I can hardly breathe. Well, that's the point, silly. Stop it, stop it! Morning. Alright. Why did you say that so weird? What do you mean? Alright. Oh, God, do I really sound like that? Yeah, he probably thought you were so weird. I think I just need to go home. <laughs> yes, you do, you do! Wait, you can't go back that way. Oh, you're right. They'll think I'm weird for changing direction. Yeah, like what kind of normal person does that? Come on, walk all the way around. But that's an extra 10 minutes. Go, go, you weirdo! I'm so glad you came to your senses and realised doing nothing today was the way forward. Hey, I did all the work. He came home because of me. <laughs> yeah, right. He was always going to spend today with me. So shut up. Who's that then? It's uh, no one. Oh, I'll take care of that. You do know this is a pity invite. They feel sorry for you. Why don't we just order a pizza and watch Netflix? I could help you point out all your flaws. That's all we've done for the past six Fridays now. Yeah, hasn't it been the best? It's boring! Why can't you just let me go out? Because you belong here. You deserve to be miserable. But why? I didn't ask for this. I am keeping you wary of a lot of things, you know. Protecting you. No, no, I'm sick of it. You're too tired to go out anyway. Just stay here, in bed, with me. No, he wants to stay home with me. I keep him on his toes and make him overthink everything. I'm really sick of you two ruining my life. <sighs> you should really calm down. 
Do you really think going to meet your friends is better than being alone in your bed with me? Obviously, but you two make it so difficult. I usually just want to lay in bed all day and do nothing. You're welcome. Well, you know what? I think I'm finally going to ignore you two from now on. <laughs> like that's going to work. You make me worry about nothing. And you, you make me so down all the time. You're so negative. It's draining. The thing is, you both want the worst for me. And you know what? I think I finally know what's best for me. And what's that then? To get on with my life and not let you two consume it. Where, where, where are you going? I'm going to meet my friends. But they don't like you. Just come back to sleep, Tom. Tom, listen to me. You're making a big mistake. What are you playing at? Hello? Are you even listening to me? Later. Yeah, I'll see you in five minutes, mate. But they don't even want you there. It's so cold out there, Tom, and it's so warm in your bed. They'll be having a better time without you. You know I'll be there before you get there. Yeah, I know you're always going to be there. But I'm not going to let you bother me anymore. I'm going to learn to live with you. Because there's more to life than anxiety and depression. I'm going out that door and there's nothing you two can do to stop me, this time or ever. I'm gonna have a good night.